if you go into a contact card, so for example, if I go into Aubrey right over here, you see that in the very middle of it, there's this thing called add series, right? So if you go ahead and just tap there, you'll see that these are all the different task series that you can apply to Aubrey. Now, what's a task series, right? A task series is basically the, the same series of tasks or sequence of tasks that you keep doing over and over again. So for example, every time someone places an order with you, you have the same four things that you do for them, right? You say a thank you, follow up with them once they've ordered it, um, receive their order, and then check in and see how they like it, see if they need a refill, for example, right? So it's the same task that you do over and over again for many different people. So rather than having you to have to create it each time and create the task each time and then therefore it's very inconsistent, you can just simply create a new task series and then just apply it to your contacts, right? So now, for example, if I wanted to apply customer order follow-up for Aubrey, so for example, she just placed an order with me, I can just tap there and I'll see that these are the tasks that are in this series, right? And you'll see the first one is to say thank you. Second one will say has the order arrived yet? And that is scheduled for seven days after the thank you. Then the next one is scheduled for two weeks after the check-in about the order arrival. Now, all you have to do then is if you just click on the date of the first task, just assign it a first date. So for example, if I want to reach out to her tomorrow, I can tap on the 10th. And then now you'll see all of these tasks are going to be created for Aubrey with these due dates automatically. So really that simple. You don't have to think about it or create each one individually. Just select the date and then just tap on done. And you'll see all of the tasks are right there. You don't have to worry about forgetting about where they are in the process or what step they're on. It's just all created here. And then you don't ever have to come back into this card. Her task will just appear in the home screen here. So for example, if I go to tomorrow, I'll see Aubrey is right there. And the most powerful thing about this is that each one of your tasks in your task series can have scripts attached to it. So now it takes it to a whole new level. I don't even have to think about what to write. I just tap on that script button whenever it appears. I just text it out to Aubrey right there and then just go ahead and tap that next button there and send it out to her and i'm done just like that it took literally a few clicks and then i can just check her off now if i go back into her card i'll see that then the next time her t she will appear on my home screen again will be on wednesday march 17th when i go and check in to see her if her order has arrived right but what if I've checked the shipping and I know that it's only going to arrive on the 19th, on Friday, right? I need to adjust all of these so that it's two days later. So all I have to do is just go ahead and tap on the task itself. And then from here, just go ahead and adjust the date to two days later. And then when I tap on that save button, I'll have the option to reschedule it for only this task, or I can also move the other tasks that are coming up in the future as well to two days later or I can actually move all the tasks to two days later, including the ones before this. But in this case, most of the time, you'll just be using this and for all following tasks. So I'll just tap there. And then you'll see all of them have been adjusted by two days and it's just that simple. So from now on, all of your processes and the amount of work that you have to do has just been cut down drastically and everything will just take only a few clicks just with dough.